Okay, you will have seen the, um, the question, I'm sure, but it's a shortish one from Gareth, which says, what discussions and actions has the federal executive taken to implement the resolution of federal conference autumn 2011, which was entitled Accreditation for Party Conference, uh, which uh, is this uh, motion which was agreed a year ago. Um, the, the answer to that is that FE did not discuss the resolution before noting the FFAC's decision on accreditation. And, and that is because essentially it's not a matter for FE's consideration. The motion doesn't call on FE to undertake anything specifically. It does call on me as party president, not um, the FE. And, and so before enacting the request, I'm referring the relevant part of the proposal, which is part three, um, to the Federal Appeals Panel to confirm that it is a correct interpretation of the Constitution. If it is, then of course there will be further action and we'll keep you posted. Gareth. Thank you. So, Gareth, they are, they are. ask a supplementary. Thank you very much for that, Tim. I wanted to, to ask you um, personally, in his response to questions yesterday, Andrew Wiseman, chair of F FCC, said that you had brought, uh, had brought in uh, a system for opt-out designed to uh, enable those people who are unwilling to accept the accreditation system to come to conference, and it appears that no one actually used that. Could I ask you what um, discussions you had and whether you were able to come to a consensus with any of the relevant party bodies that, uh, 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 that, that, that um, were relevant to that decision? And also, where was the um, opt-out system advertised? OK. Um, I'm absolutely aware uh, and sympathise with the sensitivities people have about accreditation, and particularly uh, I mean, there are many reasons, I guess, to have concerns about it, but there's a specific concern I think many of us wanted to try to address amongst people who have, for the better, want of a better phrase, identity-related concerns. And, and they could be people from the transgender community, but they could also be people who are fleeing domestic violence, for example, and have had reasons to have a, a different identity in the past and may have had some concerns, therefore, about accreditation. So, it's hard to be able to be ultra-inclusive when you're dealing with a, a group that is hard to define like that, but to the best of our ability, what I did was I, for example, I went to the LGBT plus Lib Dem conference in Manchester to talk about the issue directly with them, and indeed spoke almost endlessly with Adrian Trett, who deserves a, uh, you know, a massive uh, a round of applause for the amount of effort he put in in trying to uh, see if we could get somewhere with this, to make sure that the, uh, we became with some form of system, therefore, where people who felt comfortable with saying to myself or Adrian or the chair of Women Liberal Democrats as a third uh, possibility, um, that they for, had an identity-related reason for not wanting to go through accreditation. We felt it was it was unlikely to be a very large number of people uh, who would want to take advantage of that, and therefore any risk that it might it might pose was so minute that it was worth taking for all the right reasons. So we did that. It was advertised through those groups. It, any, it, the conference office was able to advise anybody who raised a question. It wasn't emblazoned over the website. It wasn't uh, absolutely advertised everywhere because we wanted to be mindful of the security issues as well. Um, and in the end, nobody took us up on it. Um, but the, the box was there, it was available, and there were many people who were, shall we say, within the kind of potential groups that we've just talked about, who were definitely aware about it, aware of it, discussed it, uh, and in many cases felt actually um, they, they, they didn't feel the need to go through the process. But you'd have to ask, for example, you know, the trans transgender working group what they feel about the system now. I think if I could sum up, I think they felt it was inadequate, but they were pleased that we tried.